How's it going? My name is Devin Wright. I'm the product manager here at Jupyter Systems. Today's video will be giving an overview of the Pixelnet product. Pixelnet was actually introduced back in 2008 as the industry's first AV over IP solution. Uh, today we'll be talking about three key benefits and features. Uh, the first feature will be the video distribution portion of uh, Pixelnet. The second will be the video wall feature of Pixelnet. And the third will be our new uh, KVM solution. So please uh, join me and we'll jump right into the demo. In this section of the video, we'll be talking about Pixelnet's uh, video distribution feature. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, Pixelnet is a AV over IP solution. And so it is a network based product. And so because it's network based, it lets you uh, distribute, distribute the video to as many destinations as you want. It doesn't matter if it's a video wall, that could be a workstation, or it could be a single screen, like in the lobby, or an executive room, or a war room. And so that's really one of the key benefits of Pixelnet, is uh, incorporating that matrix switch functionality into Pixelnet. And that really gives you the ability to distribute content and really push any source anywhere. And so uh, I'll talk a little bit about the setup here. And in front of you, you have a three by two video wall here, and we have a workstation. And so from this workstation, uh, now I can command and control any display area that I want. So for example, I have my video distribution layout here, which has one source spread across six different displays. And I even push that content here locally on my operator workstation on my right display. Uh, with a simple click of a button, I can easily change that content to anything else. And so once again, uh, I can push that content to a video wall, I can push it to another operator workstation, or I can push it into an executive room or a war room. Pixel has a very robust uh, feature set when it comes to your video wall management. And so what you have in front of you is, uh, once again, this is a three by two video wall. Uh, this is the tool to manage your video wall. We call this Mimic. Uh, this is a web-based tool. Uh, so you basically put a URL, you log in, and this is actually the same user interface that you have on uh, the majority of our video wall processor products. It, this is the canvas layer. So from a Jupyter standpoint, any video wall that you deploy will probably come with a, uh, this same user interface. So user and training uh, is very easy, uh, very simple. And so with the the Mimic, uh, the Mimic allows you to do a lot of the window management. So it allows you to resize, move windows, and this mimics what is happening on the video wall, right? And so if you notice over here, uh, we made this window smaller, and that correlates to what is happening real time on the video wall. And so you can resize this window. Uh, you can take another window. You can move it over, over bezels. You can resize it. Uh, so it's very easy, uh, very uh, intuitive. Uh, and it's drag and drop. Uh, if you see this icon right here, this is the speaker icon. So it allows you to also uh, play and mute audio as well, uh, if you have audio. Uh, on the left hand side over here, uh, these are all your, this is your source list. Uh, it's a very simple drag and drop uh, function. So you simply, if you want to create a new window from a source, you drag it on the wall, right? This window is now created on the wall. And now we can easily take that handle uh, open it, drag it, right? Uh, so it's very simple, move it around. You can do picture in picture if you want. Uh, so it's very easy, very simple, almost no user or training. Uh, you can also save this. You can save this layout uh, into our layouts list like we have here. We right have here, so all these layouts that you have here uh, can get recalled at, at any time that you want. And so Mimic is really meant from the configuration side and the supervisor uh, use case. Uh, if you're on a very simple, easy uh, user interface, we also have that built in the Canvas as well. That is called Layout Launcher. It's supposed to mimic what is happening uh, from a control system side. So once again, we push one button, it does uh, a specific function. And so that is what the uh, Layout Launcher does. And so with one click, I can actually change the whole wall. And so what's important with the layout launcher is it's actually a web page and it's responsive. So as you move and uh, resize the window, it'll automatically adjust. And so where that's useful is if you want a tablet or if you want to load this on your phone, it'll automatically adjust to your size. And so I'll quickly demo uh, a one-click 
button here. So if you, with one click, you can now load the layout on the wall uh, and load all your sources. And so it's very easy, very intuitive uh, to use interface. So this is the video wall function of Pixelent. The KVM feature in Pixelent uh, was introduced uh, when we announced the Pixelent 2.0 hardware. Uh, there's two main requirements to enable this KVM feature. The first one is going to be connecting the KM link. So once you have your source computer plugged in with the video uh, to display, uh, the next portion is uh, connecting the keyboard and mouse. Uh, so that requires the KM link. And so this sits, in, it, this sits in between the input node and your source computer. And so when you plug it into your source computer, it'll automatically recognize it as a standard uh, HID keyboard and mouse. For example, uh, when you plug it into a Windows machine, it'll use the standard Microsoft keyboard and mouse driver, and so there is no extra driver that needs to be installed. The second requirement is plugging is how you actually control the system. And so we've been talking about uh, PDC as walls. So for example, this the wall in front of you is a 3 by 2 video wall, and then I have a workstation, a 2 by one here. Um, the idea is once you plug your keyboard and mouse into the output node that's driving the wall, um, that will automatically convert it into a workstation. And so with a workstation, what automatically will happen is it brings up the Pixelnet cursor. And so this cursor lives at the top layer, so it actually hovers over all the different windows that you have. And so you can have multiple source windows on your workstation or wall, and you can actually control those as well. And that's something we'll get into. So with that, uh, we'll be talking about the on-screen display and actually showing the features of putting multiple windows on a single workstation. To use the KVM feature of Pixelnet, uh, we have a, key, a few key features uh, that I want to show you. Uh, the first one is going to be using actual keyboard and mouse to, to manage your sources. Um, once you have your Pixelnet cursor hovered over the specific source you want to control, um, you know, that automatically passes the keyboard and mouse to that machine, so you can scroll. Uh, you can use the scrolling button, obviously click, highlight things. Uh, you can open up windows. Right, and so this really allows you to take control of any source, uh, that source computer. And that source computer is going to be locked up in a physical access room. It really eliminates a lot of the different clutter. Uh, really gives you a clean space to work with. And it could provide you another additional layer of security because now that computer is locked up physically in a server room somewhere. Um, another thing I want to show you is the windowing capability um, because Pixelnet is a video wall feature. Um, it really allows you to window uh, any display that you have. And so I'll be showing you the on-screen menu. Uh, so this is called OSD, on-screen device. Uh, this allows you to basically load any of the layouts that you have uh, configured in the system uh, if you have permission to whatever you have. And so what we have plugged into the Pixelnet system is four computers. Each of those four computers have two outputs. That's what you see here. This is a computer. This is a computer. This is a computer. This is a computer. Once again, the PDC uh, cursor is right here. And what you'll notice is as I hover over, I'll just be clicking the... the the right click so you see the menu pop up as I hover over right now I can start really moving uh, the mouse and I don't have to jump in jump out there is no restriction for this you simply hover over the computer you want to control and you simply take it over right and so this is the video distribution part of uh, Pixelnet as well you'll notice that I have the same sources I have here on the video wall and whatever movement I have here uh, it'll automatically reflect uh, on the video wall as well, right? So it's very easy, very clean, uh, super easy to use. So the last part I want to talk about is uh, what's very unique about Pixelnet is uh, we talked about three different things, which is the video, video distribution, uh, the video wall and KVM, right? And what I just showed you is really the combination of all three right here. 
Um, but really when it comes to video wall collaboration and interactivity and uh, kind of interacting with your colleagues and really troubleshooting uh, and interacting with the video wall, that's where PixelNet really shines because of the video distribution and the KVM. And so we talked a little bit about converting a works or a wall into a workstation. Well, in PixelNet, everything is a wall. So everything, that means everything can be converted into a uh, workstation as well, including your main large video wall. So this three by two right here, I actually plugged in a wireless keyboard and mouse into it. And so what you'll notice is my mouse is now up here. And so if I move this, right, uh, so I have two separate. So I have a cursor here on my local workstation and a cursor on my video wall as well. And so with that, now I can take control of, I can actually walk up to the video wall um, and actually manage and uh, interact and collaborate with the video wall as well. Thank you for watching this overview of Pixelet. If you like what you see, uh, please email us at sales at jupiter.com. Uh, you can go to our website, www.jupiter.com. Uh, please hit us up on the social media. Uh, we have our LinkedIn and a YouTube page. Thank you very much.